Hello fellow engineers and welcome to the open sea where today we are on a cruise to the bottom of the ocean. So yeah, this is floating sandbox simulator where basically you get loads of different ships and it does like really good like 2D physics water simulation. So we can like pop a hole in there and you can see like it start filling up with water but only to like the, the parts that are that are open and stuff. Yeah, so you can sort of see like how ships are like split into segments. Unfortunately, if you were to get a hole in all the segments, then your PO ferry would actually start to sink. So you can see water level getting pretty high. To be fair, the ferry's like, it's still very upright. Oh, what was that? I think the electricity's just gone out. Yep, there's no more smoke coming from the chimney. So I guess in our tools menu, we can come down to the slicer. We don't need chimneys anymore. So we'll get rid of those. <laughs> So they are heading down to the bottom of the ocean. And we seem to have turned our, our cruise liner into a submarine liner. Boom! Quite impressive how like watertight the windows are. Like people in the top floors, they can still very much breathe despite being underwater. All right, okay, okay. Now we're going down. Now we're going down. Let's go back into tools because there is a pick and pull. So can I just like... Oh, I just... Oops. Oh, that don't look good. I was hoping I could just pick this thing up. All right, here we go. Move, move. So there you go. There we go. Let's just take this out of the water. And can we like... Can we drain this? So can I just shake the water out? Oh, look. It's, it's actually working. The water's coming out. The electricity's come back on. Oh, we are gonna... We are gonna save this boat. All right, get out, water. Get out. Uh, oops, I dropped it and <laughs> now it's sinking very fast. Anyway, I've gone for another P&O cruise ship, the Britannia. Because the UK Space Agency doesn't just own spaceships. It owns cruise liners, the UK Cruise Agency. Um, however, we are going to be putting them to the test. Now, what I saw in here earlier was the wave maker. So with this, you can like pull down and then plop. You can just make like a little wave and just see how an inverted wave affects your ship. Uh, it seems to be doing okay. You can then do a proper wave like up that way. We can send that towards us. Looks like it's sort of fine. You can see it's pushing the front of the ship up, but it uh, definitely survives a, a reasonably small tidal wave. What about a bigger one like that? So it's only a short, sharp tidal wave, but it is as tall as the ship. Is it going to cause carnage? Or you can see some water getting in the, the windows there, but pretty much we're just doing a window cleaning service i think the ferry has survived now another thing you can do with this you can like literally you can just drag down and just hold down constantly so we're basically gonna make a very very <laughs> a pretty steep drop into this new sea level that i've just created so the ship oh my goodness the front's going down i think it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine all right so we've leveled out at this new sea level the trouble is what happened if the sea level suddenly went way higher than it was before that is a wall of water heading towards the ship <laughs> oh man oh that is getting wet inside the captain is soaking oh and the ship is going straight up whoa okay that is quite a strong ship i thought i would have broken half if i'm honest uh, you can really see the segments of this one by the way so you can see if water does start filling up one of the segments we should be okay to not sink all right so that was impressive that's like a modern day sort of cruise ship we can see how that works how it copes against various waves and things what if we go to an older ship and do the same test like how about a seemingly invincible ship the titanic we know against icebergs it wasn't that good but would it have coped against waves? Or in this case, anti-waves? I'm not gonna lie, quite intrigued to see how this does cope. Like, is older ship building... Oh my goodness, it's split in half. It's split into two. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say, at least it's not sinking. But um, yeah, that's that's definitely going under now. Well, to be fair, the anti-wave isn't really a real thing. But an actual tidal wave. Let's start with like a sort of a mid-sized one. I, I feel like it should go over the deck. So if people are, if they're at the front doing a Will and Kate, whatever they're called, they're going to get wet. But it looks like, yeah, it might swipe a few people off their feet. But the, the ship actually copes pretty fine. However, with the wall of water, is it going to survive as well as a modern day cruise ship? The fact it didn't survive the anti-wave, I'm going to guess this isn't going to go as well for the Titanic. Oh man, it's broken. <laughs> oh, it's broken up. Oh, it's going on top. We've got a double deck of Titanic. So the, the very end of the ship, because it broke that direction with like the opening going towards the wave, that's just filled up with water completely. Uh, you can see that there's still a light on there. Not sure how that's still powered. Anyway, the Titanic is definitely sunk. Yeah, modern ships, a little bit stronger than older ships. And perhaps if it wasn't an iceberg that got it, maybe an anti-wave or tidal wave would have got it anyway. Anyway, it's not just ships. What about if your plane lands in the water? Your scan 
underneath it. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, apparently, planes sink instantly. I'm not going to lie. I thought they floated. I thought they had, like, inflatable slides and stuff. That is very much at the bottom of the sea. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, that is in pieces. Oh, ooh, I've just loaded a different plane. Look, this one's floating. This one's actually floating. Okay, so this is more like what I expected. The engines are filling up with water. I feel like that's to be expected, though. I mean, they are pretty much hollow. What are they? Are they meant to be like life rafts with people in them or something? I don't know, but the plane, it's actually, it's sort of coping. I feel like there is some water getting in the, the bum hole of the plane, whatever you call that hole at the end. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? I can toggle a pin. So can I pin the ass. Oh no, I think this is okay, this is just making really small holes. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, what does attract and repel do? So if I oh, it attracts all the little pieces, does it? Oh, I'm lifting this thing out of the air. No, not out of the air, Matt. Out of the sea. It's really, really heavy though, particularly with all that water flooding into its anus. Oh, you can see it. You can see it bend as I'm trying to lift this thing up. Come on, Blaine. Come on, plane. All right, this isn't working. This isn't working. What if I... What if... What does a Thanos snap do? Does that just... Oh, wow. Okay, that's a that's a Thanos snap. Okay, yep. Because uh, that is the entire plane dissolved. <laughs> and there goes the final bit. Just my little pins remain, apparently. Anyway, back to another cruise ship. What I wanted to have a little go at... I, I've seen that there's... um. There's remote controlled bombs on here. So if I shovel... Oh my goodness, that is huge. Why is that so big? What if we just detonate that on its own? It goes... Boosh! Oh, it's only a little explosion. Or maybe our ship is stronger than we gave it credit for. It's like proper wobbling. But it seems to be coping quite well. Is that it? Or is it still going to fill up with water? Yeah, let's shove a few more down. So let's... Oh, whoa! <laughs> Wow, that was a lot more noticeable. Stacking bombs, definitely a lot clearer. But I wonder how many bombs can I actually get on here? Looks like this is working well. I'm not going to lie. The noise is very, very annoying. Oh, no, there's a limit. There's a limit. As I place more, more get deleted. Okay, well, that's all we can do then. So let's boost all of those at the same time. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, I have never seen like a ship that just doesn't have a bottom half to it. Uh, clearly that sunk instantly. My question though, could I take the roof off and it still float? So what if we just cover the top of this? Say something like that. Are we going to make a convertible cruise ship? Come on. Boosh. Ah, oh, sort of. <laughs> the explosion pushed this thing underwater a little bit too much. But what if we slice the roof off? So what, if we want to make this convertible, I think we want to go there. Chop the flag off. Sorry, flag. And then we're just cutting through all of that. Oh, no, the camera's moving. The camera's moving because it's trying to follow the flag. It's making this quite tricky to do a straight line. All right, so I thought I cut it off, but the roof is still still attached somehow. Let's just make sure we're fully disconnected. Is that it? Is that the roof done? <laughs> All right, the front is going under. Is it, I think it's going to break off. I don't know what's happened there. We might still be attached here. The roof is off and we've made a convertible cruise liner. Oh yeah. Think of the, the fresh air flowing through your hair as you cruise through the sea. Yeah, there's a fire extinguisher. You can set these on fire. How do I set this on fire? I want to set something on fire. Oh, could it be this? The laser can. Oh my goodness. Look at the corners of the screen. We've got lasers everywhere. Okay, well that sure melted a hole through it. It hasn't set anything on fire though. Is that because it's made out of metal? All right, I've loaded a wooden arc. Let's see. It does a laser. Oh, it does actually set it on fire. I was not expecting that level of detail. All right, well, the arc is well and truly on fire. Now, I guess no one really thought about that when they built the Ark. It's a fire hazard. A floating fire hazard. We've got a few bits of debris falling into the sea. Now, I could get my fire extinguisher to work. I know they didn't really have fire extinguishers back in the day when the Ark was built, but uh, perhaps I should have a little... Oh, it does just extinguish instantly. Okay. Oh, wow. That fire's persistent. Get back, fire. All right, there we go. We saved some animals today. I don't actually see any animals like poking their head out. What about an electric spark? Does that set it on fire? No, it's wood, Matt. Electric doesn't do anything to that. Heat blaster. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's that's a big flame. So I think this allows you to heat up parts of the ship. All right, so this thing's really, really on fire now. If I give it some wind, is that going to blow the fire out? Oh, look. Well, the wind actually moves the flames. That's cool. So yeah, it's out, it's out of the radius. But if I, if I put it in, 
Look at that. Oh, wow. That is really spreading this fire. I tell you what, I did just want to say this is coping a hell of a lot better than the Titanic did. Maybe they should have made the Titanic out of wood. All right, so I've just reloaded this. Let's give this the old wave maker test. So first off, anti-wave coming at you. Come on the arc. Proving they don't build them like they used to. So cope with that absolutely fine. What about epic wall of water coming straight towards you? I'm a bit worried about the, the holes for windows. Obviously, they didn't have glass back in the day. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wood is the superior boat building material. Why did we turn to metal? It makes no sense. It makes zero sense. All right, can we do can we do a drop test with the arc? So what if we put it like way up there and then we drop? Oh, I want to do this with the Titanic and a cruise liner as well. So ready? Boosh. Oh, the arc is like invincible. It just bounced. It was fine. All right, so Titanic's back. Let's see how this copes with the drop test. So I'm guessing it was about that high. I mean, I feel like this should be a man test on all new ship designs if i'm honest but uh, let's see oh. oh is anyone surprised at this point is anyone surprised i'm learning so much about shipbuilding. right let's just try the modern one now, i guess once and for all find out if the titanic was just a, a rickety piece of old todd swaddle yeah that's a word that people still use so this is one we used before let's make it a fair test so Come on, cruise ship. You've got to beat the arc. At least show you that some sort of development in modern shipbuilding has been worthwhile. I mean, it's sort of, it's not as bad as the Titanic. It sort of survived. And to be fair, it hasn't broken. So if we can get the water out, which it looks like it's sort of doing. There's water disappearing from... Uh, no, I spoke too soon. That's definitely going under. But yeah, that's not all we've got. We've got an 8080. <laughs> well, actually, I've sort of always wondered are these will these float because they are technically hollow and i imagine because they go on like like various different planets the air's not always going to be breathable on those planets so it probably is airtight and therefore as we've just proven it does float all right well time to throw a huge wall of water at this thing let's see what happens yeah it's just like a submarine with legs <laughs> it's going flying <laughs> You're free, Willy. All right, let's just see. If I were to chop the ankles off, will it actually go under? I feel like because its body, like it's it's laying on its back, it's floating like how you're meant to float if you ever find yourself trapped at sea. Float to survive, by the way. Um, So I could probably chop these off like there and there. This thing is amazing. It's like, I feel like the Ark was like the superior ship. And then like we lost everything. We, we got the Titanic, absolutely crap. We got cruise liners, not the best. We've got airplanes. Still, they weren't that good. But when we get into the future, and design 8080s. It's like we we relearn that arc knowledge. And um, anyway, I'm just gonna go put the strongest the strongest shaped hole I can into the side of it. Not so buoyant anymore, are we? 8080. We need to cut that bit off because that was pulling it down. All right, quick back to the surface. Oh, I wanted to survive now. I'm trying to chop off the bad bits. Oh, I've just I made it worse. I made it worse. Yeah, but that's not all. We've got the Eiffel Tower, which is actually coping reasonably well. You sort of would have thought all those holes would make it not as buoyant, but it's actually okay. So I'm quite intrigued to see what happens if I cut this straight down the middle. Is it going to split into two? Oh, there you go. It's cut. It's cut. Oh, it's coming down. It is coming down. Oh, it's breaking into pieces. Well, yeah, that was about as successful as I thought it would be. Oh, we've then got... <laughs> We've then got a blimp. <laughs> Just a photo of it. Oh, that's incredible. Right, where's the pop thing? Pop. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it made a good sound. Oh, it's actually it's actually moving. Anyway, I fear for its life. I th think it's definitely coming down. If I do a pop in the top. Oh, man, it's actually like acting like a balloon. Like, look at the wobbly ass on it. Look at the wobbly ass. How many... Pops do I have to put in this thing for it to like sink? I'm just covering it in pins now. I can't not do anything. All right, that's a lot of pins, but um, apparently it's just having some acupuncture. It actually finds it quite relaxing. Um, I just realized we've got buttons down here. So oh, I can make them move. And then that we've got, oh, we've got lights. You can turn the lights on and off. Okay, what happens if you heat a helium balloon? Oh yeah, probably probably should have realized that. I right, tell you what, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna save these people by cutting them off. All right, get out of there, guys. Get out of there. You're safe now. You're safe. You're on a boat. Oh no, it's it's too buoyant. It's too buoyant for its own good. <laughs> a quick run. Run before the flames get you. There's flaming debris about to land on the head. Go, guys. Oh, and I can actually steer this thing. Right, full power. They're up. No, too much power. Too much power. <laughs> Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Right, we've got to land, we've got to land. Oh, no, don't land upside down, no. Right, hang on, I can save this, I can save this. Right, we're good, we're good. No, 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 reverse, reverse, reverse. Oh, I cocked it. I absolutely cocked it. They were actually fine. They survived. The Where's that bit going? They survived the flames and the pits. Why does bits keep flying off? Anyway, that was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, we've also got a very low-textured pyramid of geezer. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> what if we were to chop that? Like it's cracked like an egg. Oh yeah, it just, just caves in on itself and then goes down under water. Actually, that might get filled with air, right? Because air can't escape because it's trapped. Assuming it's airtight. No, it's not airtight. But the, the pyramids are actually hollow, aren't they? Because they're filled with like booby traps and tombs and stuff. So I guess that's realistic. <laughs> Who they got another photo one? What is that? It's a submarine. But I'm filling up with water. Oh, look, they've actually gone to town on the internals. Look at all the different compartments and stuff. I was not expecting that. Anyway, I literally just loaded that one because I wanted to see what the photo looked like in game. <laughs> It's so high quality. But uh, back to the Titanic because I've got one more test I want to do. I want to do this, the arc, and the cruise liner because I just found this tool, Adjust Terrain. And it basically means, can you see at the very bottom of the sea there's terrain? I can literally, I can bring this up however I want. So I can literally make a huge point. And then if I wanted to, I could just bring the Titanic above it. Right, I feel like to make it a fair test, we'll do just the height of itself. So we'll say to there. Okay. All right. So ready? Boosh. Oh, man. Mullard. Absolutely mullard. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I expected to happen, but that was insane. And next up, I got another cruise liner. So let's shove this up there. Again, same height. So not high at all, really. We're just going to there. So we'll get that in position. And then... Oh, oh it's doing better. It is doing better. Oh, man. Oh, it's hideous. But it's sort of okay. Depending on where you were in the ship... You may have survived. Maybe not the back end so much. And definitely not the middle. But if you were at the front, you would actually be pretty happy with your with your choices there. Your life choices. I will say though, there's still movement going on. I'm not touching this yet. We're just letting it do its thing. Because I'm wondering, is it going to stop? It has stopped. I think it stopped. Oh, no, no. There's still movement. Man, if we zoom right in. Like, look how many parts there are like to these ships. So look at all those crazy bits and then we'll zoom out. Like the detail. <laughs> you just wouldn't expect that from this game. And this game is it's actually free, by the way. You can pay what you want. I gave the guy like a tenner, but if you want to download this for free, you can. Anyway, now I think it's time to compare this to the Ark. Is it the superior ship design? All right, so here it goes. Dropping onto the spike. No way. <laughs> what? It's barely got hurt. It didn't even get penetrated. It's just like rubbing itself on the side of it. Hang on though. Hang on though. What's happening here? What's happening here? It's been pushed off the side. Uh, fish underneath. You might want to move. There's about to be a splash on top of your head. All right. So there goes the arc. It might actually survive. <laughs> Imagine if the arc is the superior ship design. And all these years we've been wasting our time. I think it is. Look at that. The water's not even... It can't even reach the holes. Well, just to make sure, we're going to have a go with the 8080 as well. Oh, right through the toe. If we zoom in, oh, it's about to get decapitated. It's about to get decapitated. I feel I feel a little bit sick watching this. It's not good. Although, actually, this back leg is sort of like it stopped itself sliding down. Yeah, I think it's a fight. Oh, no, 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 no. There goes the legs. There goes the legs. Oh, they're dangling. They're dangling. It's pulling the body. Oh, no, it's going to get split in half. Oh, it's horrible. I'm imagining it's, it's like, a, like a little creature. I feel really bad now. If we zoom in, though, you can see the thread of the neck it's still just about clinging on i think it has now lost its feet though i was gonna say let's pull these out of the way no it's just it's all just one thing so i assume if that goes in the water that is going straight under yeah okay okay all right so one more test with the arc just to make sure it is truly indestructible let's drop it from up there so i assume that will just pick up more and more speed so if we zoom in oh no, it is just indestructible. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Ark. Yeah, and sadly, I did actually search for bridge, but turns out there aren't any bridges. I feel like deep water horizon is the closest we can get. It's also quite efficient looking as well. So let's give that a drop onto there. Ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was painful. Right. Anyway, guys, that was floating sandbox. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll say peace, love, and spikes through your gooch. Bye, guys.